how to get rid of those null pointer exceptions in Kotlin with null safety. So right now we have our name, our variable name, and we can do something like print line name and it'll print the name. But what if it's null? So what if we set that to null for some reason? Some For some reason it's null. Well, Kotlin actually doesn't allow you to just name a variable null. What you have to do is you have to give a non-null assertion or a question mark, pretty much. Um, and let's just do the question mark first. What this means is that every single time you do anything with that variable, so you want to do, you want to get the length of it, right? You have to check if it's null first. So right here, you can surround it with a null check, and it'll get rid of that error right there. Or we can do it a little easier, and we can just do the question mark dot, and this will this it, this um uh, question mark dot is the same thing as oops surrounding it with a null check, and that checks the length of it to make sure that it's not null. So now you can have just a question mark and have that as, so if it's null, get rid of this. If it's null, it will just not run that line anymore. And we can also do things. So if it is null, that's what this is, the Elvis operator then we want to give it like a negative one, for example, or a uh, yeah, negative one. Now there's another thing, which is the double exclamation point, which actually just ignores the question mark. And what it does is just do the regular, the regular way, give me a null pointer exception if it's null. Um, there's only a few cases that you should do this. Colin is very much into null safety and not using null pointer exceptions because you don't want your app to crash. You should try to never use the double exclamation point. You should always try and use the question mark. Um, yeah, so it doesn't crash. That This is what it's for to get rid of the null pointer exception. So pretty much if name is null, it's not going to get the length of it. It's just going to goes to the next line, it's just going to skip it. Or it's just going to do the Elvis operator if you have it and just give it minus one instead. Now, now you may be thinking about um, libraries with things like at nullable or at not null. First thing, when you get a nullable, that equals the question mark like here. So it's automatically null checked for you pretty much because it can be null. Since it can be null with this parameter, it has to have that question mark. And if you put not null, well, it just gives you the uh, a regular variable without a, a, a question mark meaning that it can't be null. And if it's nothing, it actually shows up as a single a single exclamation mark. And you choose what you want it to be. So you can choose to have it as a question mark and have it have a null check, or you can have it just be that you trust the library that it's not going to be null. And that's null safety for Kotlin.